Hey everyone, okay so today I'm going to do something completely, completely revolutionary, especially on YouTube when it comes to eyeshadow work. We're going to do a revolutionary eyeshadow tutorial. So let's make a start. So first thing I need to do is take my glasses off. Good luck with that Wayne. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is just prep the eye. So I'm just going to prep the eye and by prepping it I'm actually just going to apply a bit of concealer. You could use foundation, doesn't really matter but you just want to kind of create a clean canvas. And I'm doing this from lash line to brow bone, just to, you know, clarify the eye and give it a bit more light. Now, I don't know if you've noticed on YouTube, but pretty much every single eyeshadow look that you see, they enter the crease, they do a cut crease, a smoky eye, bringing it up into the eyebrow. It's a whole host of different things and all of them look amazing and wonderful, but not every day do we necessarily need or want to do that kind of stuff. Now there is a long lost eyeshadow technique that your mother used and your grandmother and nobody uses it anymore. And ironically, it's still the most beautiful one. Provided you have some lid space, this will work. So what you're going to do is take a brush. It's entirely up to you which brush you use and which color you use. I'm gonna use a lovely kind of bronzy color. And I'm gonna take a little flat brush and I'm gonna apply this color in a revolutionary manner. I'm going to place it on my eyelid and I'm gonna cover the entire eyelid with this color from lash line up until the crease. From the outside corner to the inner corner in a back and forward motion. Now you can pat this on if you would prefer. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that the color is on the eyelid. And then at this point of the crease, I'm gonna dig it in slightly just so that it diffuses but the goal here is to stick within your actual eyelid space and when you come to this outside corner stop at the natural corner don't drag it out and bring it lower down or out than you normally would so keep it wherever there is visible eyelid and the shape of your eyelid. Now what I'm going to do is just define the lash line with a touch of black eyeshadow. And I'm gonna push this into the base of the lashes just to give the lash line a thicker, darker appearance. And just wiggle it into the base of your lash. Sometimes, like I just blink then, sometimes the eyelashes can be quite sensitive, so you may be better just closing the eye slightly and just wiggling it into place, whichever works best for you, but you're just trying to add extra darkness and depth to the lash line. Now I'm gonna take some of that same concealer and I'm just going to just run this underneath the eye, just to brighten up. Now before I do anything else, I'm just gonna take a slightly lighter shade, and on this inner corner, right here, I'm just pressing this slightly lighter shade, right here, and then just going back and forward just to add a very soft transition and then taking that darker color that we used originally and just blending it and then going back in with the lighter color just so it's a slight transition. I'm gonna curl the lashes. Now if you really want the curl to last, hold this here for at least 60 seconds. Now with the eyelashes curled, I'm gonna take a mascara. This mascara is pretty much dead. It is, you know, there's almost nothing left in it, but I'm gonna make it work. And I'm just going to apply some mascara to the lashes. I don't have particularly great lashes, but that's okay. It doesn't matter none. 
So just take your mascara and work with whatever you have. And that, my friends, is it. You do not need to do anything else whatsoever to the skin, to the eye, I'm sorry, to the eye. You don't need to do anything else. Your eye is still a focus point. Even though you haven't entered the crease up high, even though you've not blended it out, all you've done is gone onto the eyelid. This to me, there was Isabella Rosalini. She did a um, beautiful advert in the, perhaps it was the early 90s with Lancome, I believe it was. It was a perfume advert. Um, and she had this just slightly bronzed eyelid, nothing else. And it was so beautiful. And we rarely see this anymore. What we see is cut creases and lots of crease work and lots of smoky eyes. We don't see just a very basic bronzed eye, beige eye, anything. All we see is it always being up high and just doing a touch of eyeshadow just on the eyelid itself and making sure that it is a bit brown, a bit bronzy, a bit torpy. And it just can do so much for the face. And because it's such, because the eye isn't overwhelmed with color, you can do a red lip with this. You can do a nude lip with this. You can put glasses on and your eye still is a focal point, but it doesn't hit you in the face with it. It isn't screaming, look at my eye makeup. It is screaming, you are beautiful. The whole of you is beautiful. And that's what's quite beautiful and unique about this kind of look, is that you're not focusing on the makeup. You're focusing on the beauty of somebody's face, the beauty of your face, because you haven't overwhelmed it with lots and lots of stuff. And it's a very simple, easy technique that anyone can do, provided they have some form of eyelid space. You have to at least be able to see some eyelid. So I know that a lot of people with hooded eyes out there are not going to be very happy with that, but that is the truth of it. If you have some eyelid, this will work. And if you wanted to, you could, for example, add, add like a topper to this. So add a beautiful sheen over this and it doesn't take anything away because you're not going up and out. You're not bringing it in all different directions. You're just kind of making it, I've got some eyeshadow on. It's completing the look but it isn't the full look. It's not the whole look. It's a part of everything. I love this kind of look. I think it is the most beautiful because you are beautiful. This is what you're looking at. You're looking at you as a person and not the eye makeup, which I think is pretty splendid. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.